Welcome to Personal Nutrition. I struggled with weight as I was growing up, and it really came to a head in my early 20s. At my first job, somehow I thought it was reasonable to get a muffin in the morning, but I couldn't choose, and so I would have a blueberry muffin baked with cream cheese. It was delicious. They also had a chocolate chocolate chip muffin with cream cheese baked inside it. As I couldn't choose, I would have both every morning. Easily 1,600 calories and not the healthy kind. I would have salad at lunch, then I would go home. Often I would stop at a Dairy Queen and have a blizzard, which is some mixture of ice cream, candy, and cookies all jumbled up. It was delicious. I could not understand if I was eating salad for lunch why was I gaining so much weight? I had this adversarial relationship with nutrition and my diet. I thought of it as dieting. I thought of that I have to punish myself and not eat those muffins and not eat that blizzard, or I would need to work out enough to make up for all of those calories. It was all about trade-offs. And whenever I felt stress, that was it. Comfort food, that is my answer to stress, it is not a good answer. So what changed? Funnily enough, it wasn't nutrition that changed for me. I had started running, and I was running more and more instead of dealing with the stressful relationship. And I got to about a half marathon length in my training and was wiped out. And I started thinking about my fuel and how to fuel myself better. And that clicked it over in my mind that nutrition is fuel for all of your goals. And as soon as I looked at nutrition differently, I became fascinated. I needed to learn as much as I could. I read 80 books on nutrition. I listened to this amazing podcast by a double PhD, Dr. Tim Noakes. He had written an entire nutrition chapter for his book, The Lore of Running, which is considered the Bible for runners. He said, I would take that nutrition chapter and rip it out. He had moved all the way over to low carb. Low carb may not be for everyone. It may not be for you. For me, it worked wonders. It's more about using nutrition as a tool to reach all of your goals, be it concentration, productivity, athletic goals, longevity goals, health goals. So much starts with what you put in your mouth every single day. The first part of my journey was reading books and diving in. A friend of mine who runs a medical school was writing a medical textbook. And he said, Emmy, I could put in a nutrition chapter if you'd like to write it. And for me, it was an honor. Instead of complaining that doctors don't know about enough about nutrition, why not put it in one of their textbooks? So I'm a published author in a medical textbook. The final part of that journey was becoming a certified nutritional consultant. Now I enjoy sharing my learnings. Where does that lead me today? It leads me to personal nutrition. Why not recommend the China diet, the Mediterranean diet? Because we are all unique. We share certain traits, but we are all unique. The latest science on epigenetics, which is the software that controls your DNA, and your microbiome, which are all the other organisms that are living within us that are not human cells. Some of those are inherited from our mother through the birth canal. Because of epigenetics and the microbiome, we are unique. When we look at our nutrition, there's obvious villain foods to get rid of. Focusing on whole foods and thinking about your own history, your relationship with food, your culture, and where your family has been for generations, what they've eaten, give you hints as to what your ideal path is in nutrition. In this course, I share the journey and the education around all of these concepts and more. I hope you'll join me.